What's good with the YouTube? You already know the convicts reaction with your boy Big Flacco, man. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, bell notification, man, to continue to get fire ass content and what we're trying to do on this channel, man. Give you guys reaction to different channels, different things going on in the community, and whatnot, man. And today, man, I, I watched a video yesterday. You know, I was driving everybody, as everybody knows, yesterday, and uh, I decided to. Uh, I watched Dub's video yesterday about quitting, should, should, should he quit YouTube or. And all that, right? And uh, so I'm gonna do a reaction to it, man. You know, uh, my reaction to it is, man. I think every one of us content creators, at, at some time, some form or fashion, have thought about quitting YouTube, man. Either it's the trolls, you know what I'm saying? Other subscribers, the unnecessary drama. You know, people sometimes think that YouTube is not a job, man. If you want to have a successful YouTube channel, or even partially successful, you know what I mean? You gotta put in a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? We're all, we're all he, he made a key point when someone said for views. Every video we're trying to do, you're trying to get views, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Every video you want views, you want subscribers, you want everything, man. Anybody that says different is full of shit. You know what I'm saying? So you're always drawing different ideas at, at times. Sometimes you can touch base on a controversial topic, man, and have different intentions of, than what people see you as having, you know, and uh, I've gone through the same thing, man, when people who, who kind of had a particular uh, uh, view of me without knowing me, and uh, they get to they get to know me on a personal level, and then their whole attitude changes, man, you know what I'm saying, they get to see me for me as a person, not as Flacco a gangster, Flacco as an ex-convict, ex Flacco as an ex, ex uh, uh, you know, uh, it's criminal, you know what I'm saying? Involved in mob activities, organizational business, you know what I mean? They get to see me as me. Now, did that life have a huge impact in my life? Yes, it did. There's no denying that, man. You know what I'm saying? There was things that were going on that, like, I still to this day won't talk about that. It really shocked a lot of people, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, my whole focal point when I first started doing this YouTube stuff, man, was, you know, it was an outlet for me to be of service, you know what I mean? Then it turned into a way to where, you know, I know I can speak, I know I got a mouthpiece, and I know I, I'm very informative, and I know I can give a articulate type of response on any topic, you know what I'm saying? So I decided to continue doing what doing this, because, you know, at times you enjoy this. You enjoy this when people, you know what I'm saying, like your views, your perspective, and they show you, you know, your respect. You know, everybody likes, to, has an ego in this, you know what I mean? Let's just keep it real. But, um, not everybody around you is always going to always be supportive, you know, and it can take its toll on you emotionally, it can take its your toll on your, your family and whatnot if you don't handle it right. So sometimes you got to sit there and breathe a little bit and take a step back and see if what you're doing is really worth it. But that could be in any job. There's not many jobs out there that people have where they haven't been stressed out or they haven't thought about quitting or they haven't, you know, had those ideas, you know. You weigh out the cost and effect, you weigh out the pros and cons, the risk and reward and what you're doing, and then you make a, make a forward decision to see if you should keep on going. And, you know, Dubs was, was keeping it real, man. You know, he came out with one agenda, you know what I'm saying, and it turned into something else. He didn't know about the, you know, the potential for income, because there's income in this, man, you know, not a lot, especially lately. But there's, you can make some decent income when you get the views, when you get the uh, subscribers to support you with super chat, super thanks, you know what I mean? You know, so everybody's buying to try to have, you know, a platform to make a career out of this, man. You know, or to do it for, for as a partial form of income, you know? But, you know, if when people are, are critical, right, then you don't have to sit there and, and watch, the, yeah, watch the content. Like you said, not interesting. It's point blank, it's that simple, but some people have the tendencies that they think that, you know, because you have a platform that they want to find find reasons to attack you and, and whatnot. And so I get that from Dev's part. He, he really hasn't been, you know what I'm saying, talked about really, you know, more so lately because of his association with Gunner. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I think that kind of stemmed from, from the the, uh, the sundown video. Kind of, kind of, kind of had people thinking and viewing things a little bit different, man. And, um, but hey, we're only human, right? Not every video we do are we gonna always make the proper choices, man. You know, people forget that we're human beings and no human's not without fault. So you can make mistakes in this YouTube stuff all the time, man. 
you know. You make, you know, I, I did one, I did one the other day, and it was pretty. From my knowledge, everything was accurate from everything that I had, and there was just some things that were kind of like um, that I felt were were not warranted from from after the review and everything. You know what I'm saying. So for. You know, him saying everything he'd said, I mean, I feel the same way at times, man. I've, I've almost quit. I was going to quit and focus on, on things back in November, man. And then when you start to have people who start to attack you and think like they're going to, you know, move on from you, you're like, you know what, man, fuck this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going anywhere then, you know what I mean? Because it fuels the fire. We all have egos, man. You know, now I'm at a point in my life on YouTube right now where I expect to be criticized from time to time. You know what I mean? If you talk too much shit, then you're just going to be hidden. You're going to be blocked. That's all there is to it, man. You know, one thing is to, to have a critique someone with a uh, uh, constructive criticism, okay? But if you borderline disrespectful, you got to go. And that's just, you know what I mean? That's just how it is, you know? The only, the only time I, I'm willing to accept anything that's, is if they are putting out their name, showing the who they really are and all that. Then you got to hold, then you got to address the issue on hand. All that stuff about coming from left field, I get, I get it from time to time, man. Thought your views went down. That's why, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm looking at, it, I'm like, well, everybody's views are down right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, do you guys forget that the two weeks after I had the ACP on my, on my own, that my views were fucking skyrocketed at that time? Those are facts. I was pushing hard. It's up and down, and you, and people want to find any reason to try to attack you or whatnot. You know what I mean, some more than others, man. Some people just don't like the way you look or the way you act. It's as simple as that. You know, or they just don't want, they don't respect what you got to say. And you can't fault people for how they feel. It is what it is. You know, um, you know, but at the end of the day, ain't no one going to stop anybody from doing what they feel they need to do on here, man. And that's the truth of everything, man. You know, if you have a positive message, you know what I'm saying, then stick to the positive message. Don't get, don't let things outside of yourself that you can't control what people do affect you, man. You know, and, and you know, I've come to learn that, you know, YouTube is not a, about authenticity. It's not about people being real or fucking honest or being informative, you know what I mean? If that was the case, you'd have people like Boxer that would have fucking, you know what I mean? A, a million views, or myself, you know what I mean? It's about entertainment to some people. So therefore, people don't care. You gotta, can't take that too personal. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, I said this shit gets kind of interesting with the YouTube stuff though man and uh, you know me right now I mean I'm always looking at different options for work and so forth you know what I mean I don't think that that you know YouTube can be a permanent career but you got to find a, a whole nother niche as, as well man you know what I'm saying and hopefully something catches hopefully you get some type of uh, you know arrangement or someone that wants to support what you're doing because you know if, if you, you are what you are and people are gonna listen to what they want to listen to man and so sometimes you got to realize that maybe there's a whole different outlet in what you're doing and seeing, exploring everything. That's why you have different channels exploring different things, man, and seeing what works. Because some of this stuff is only short-term lived. You know what I'm saying? It's only going to last so long. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to be in our fucking 50s with fucking gray hair, fucking doing crazy-ass lives forever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? But, um, you know, I, I thought it was a decent video, and I agree with a lot of it. And I think that Dub so, you know what I mean, um, is probably one of the more um, reserved channels as far as uh, uh, he, 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 wa he walks and plays his cards really right when he talks about anything. He doesn't discuss any, any type of particular group's uh, business, you know what I'm saying, um, which is different. Mostly every other channel does, you know what I'm saying. Anybody says that they haven't, man. That's was full of shit. I could pull up every video and fucking highlight something where someone's talking about something. Um, but you know, and some people are trying to pull away from that because of, because of the attention and heat that that comes from it. But he, he does a pretty good, you know, job at walking that that line. So, you know, the only thing that people have to attack him, attack him is is you know, based upon his association with Gunner. You know, Gunner's always going to have those issues with trolls. And just like I'll probably always have issues with trolls. It is what it is. You just come you come to learn to expect it, not let it affect you. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, sometimes I'd be just, you know, tripping on how people are sometimes, man. It's just, it's, it amazes me how people, uh, 
how people just sometimes don't have a sense of direction that, that they think that they have to have that voice to try to attack people or they hate you that much that they want to speak on you and it's like oh well you know what I mean you know you start to realize that some of the videos that we do we're bringing up people you know what I'm saying but the thing is is there's a difference between criticizing you know what I'm saying and uh, disrespect man saying now that's the thing that I want to just address real quick is that when YouTube gets disrespectful it can, it can make force people to not want to have to do it anymore you know what I'm saying to, to change try to do something different you know what I'm saying um, other than that man you know what I'm saying uh, good video by, on Dub's part man good video because I think every one of us has thought about that and uh, sometimes you make choices on YouTube and you're like fuck man what was I thinking man I'm saying maybe I shouldn't have did that because you don't expect a certain backlash that you that you're gonna get because you have your own way of looking at what you're doing only you know what you're doing and why I don't know if that makes sense but I've seen it a couple times to where people have misinterpreted what I was doing and why and then they put a whole different narrative to it because this is how they view it so you got to really be clear well this is why I'm doing it you know what I mean but then again at the end of the day you ain't got to explain nothing to nobody either they accept you or they don't saying and it's as simple as that man much respect to every, everybody out there man this is just a comics reaction i was gonna i see no point in uploading this video and, and playing it i'm pretty sure that most of you guys have seen it man um you know it's just something something that we've all considered man and, and anybody that says that they're not in it for views they're full of shit because we all, everybody wants to make a little something for their fucking hard work and anybody that says that uh they haven't thought about quitting. They're probably full of shit, too. I think everybody has. You know what I'm saying? I know I have about five fucking times. I know fucking Gunner has about five times. Rojo, about maybe two. No, bro, about five, too, as well, man. Fuck, I don't know about Boxer if he's ever thought about it, but, you know, all the other channels, you know, sometimes it's good to take a break, man. Especially if you have another form of income. Sometimes getting away from all this stuff, man, it just helps you, uh, your insanity. I mean, your sanity, excuse me. Because otherwise you're going to repeat the same shit with the same fucking results, man. And, uh, you know, last year was a, re a reminder about how life is for myself and for out there in the real world. Sometimes you get caught in between the two. With that said, convict's reaction, your boy Flacco, I'm out.